Hello my lovely Cancerians, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your May 2020 general love reading um, or within a month's time because it is May 21st so within a month's time of watching this but my um, my readings are timeless anyways. Keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me, my email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals. It's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to check me out on Patreon. These ones are extended over on Patreon. So if this hits home or you need further guidance or you just like watching them, you're nosy, whatever. Who cares <laughs> what the reason is? Go on over there. Support your girl. Um, thank you to everyone who already has joined me over there. It means the world to me. Um, yeah, so bonus over here. This is past, present, future overall energy feelings expectations um and on patreon we're going to cover obstacles and blocks actions and potential outcome advice all that happy stuff um i'm doing yours a little different so that these aren't so long i want to give you the same you know the same reading the same information um as other signs have gotten so you're not going to lose out on content but i'm hoping that with me pulling this deck and only shuffling for extra clarity, um, we'll save on some time because that's the most time consuming part of a reading I've noticed is when I shuffle. So anyways, because I wait for them to come out and I'm not going to force anything. It is what it is. Um, and I do, I kind of feel like I'm telling you that for a reason, like in love, there's a situation, like I believe it has to do with an ex or a past person. For some of you, it could have to do with just a love interest that you've been wanting to pursue or who has try been trying to pursue you and you've been um, you know, do, doing your own thing, just not focused on love, or it could be vice versa, take it where it fits, it's energy, if it doesn't resonate, throw it out, um, if I say it's you and it's them, you know, just vice versa, it, it is what it is, also, I use bad language, if you don't like it, there's a door, see you later, bye, I don't have time for hate comments or anything like that, so if it offends you, um, I might not be the reader for you, but I hope you do stay, so, I feel like the tables are kind of turning here, but without, like, I feel like there's a connection I want, but I don't want to force it. I don't want it to be unnatural. So, you know, if you actually love me and want to be with me, then it should just kind of happen kind of thing, whether that's from on your end or the other person's end. Like I said, I feel like some of you are dealing with a past person while others of you, this is either someone who's strongly into you or you have your eyes on somebody else. But I feel like it's been kind of behind the scene effort. I don't feel like it's been like, um, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like this person hasn't been going over the top, you or them. There's feelings there, but it's like subtle hints is what I feel. So the overall energy is the three fates, what go, what comes around. And I always want to say what comes around goes around. And it does. I feel like the tables are turning. So whoever was kind of chasing before is no longer doing that. And the other person is. So you guys did kind of a flip-flop energetically. And I only feel like it's because whoever was doing the chasing initially is getting sick and tired of... Um, not being rewarded for their efforts. It's like, I'm not getting anywhere. So it's kind of giving up energy in a sense, but it's still keeping the faith, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like your hard work's going to pay off though. I don't, I don't know why and what capacity, because for some of you, it will work out between you and your love interest. But for others of you, there's someone new around, um, that you're not even noticing that I feel like you're everything you wanted with whoever you're looking at, you're going to get with this newer person with, with whoever you're not paying attention to is what I feel. Um, for some of you anyways. So let's see. Um, overall energy in the past, we have the thinking man, thinking man with, um, I don't know. I just had a weird song stuck in my head. Like I was trying to think of who it was. I think it's Elton John. Anyways, and it's Rocket Man, not Thinking Man. That's what was going through my head. Anyways, Nine of Pentacles. Um, Nine of Pentacles is all, it's single energy. It's, um, it's very stable energy. 
is doing things on your own um, independently. So I feel like you both are single. I don't know, I get this obsessed energy whenever I look at the Nine of Pentacles in the Tarot of Sexual Magic because he's cutting her hair and it's like, I don't want anyone but you is what just popped in my head. So I feel like in the recent past or just in the past in general with this connection, um, whoever the chaser was, and I kind of feel like most of, uh, it was, la, la, la. for the most part it was cancer, but there are, I, no, I can't say that because I feel like I did the last reading I did for you was kind of 50-50 and I feel the same here like um, some of you are chasing some of you aren't either way there's a there's a flip-flop going on but this person is heavily thinking of the other person um, because this is your reading I'm gonna say that you're heavily thinking of somebody almost to the point of obsession um, like I don't want to be single anymore you're the only person that compliments me um, I don't want anybody else but you and that's the overall energy here and I feel like um, for the other person it could have felt a little intense so cancer if someone was you know pining over you in this way you might have been like okay this is a bit much you know like tone it down a notch is what I'm feeling um, so yeah I just feel like I'm worship worshiping the ground that somebody walks on like you can do no wrong even if you are blatantly doing wrong even if you hurt me and tear me to shreds I still love you like I feel that kind of attachment um, so it's not exactly the healthiest way to look at things but it's it's a complacent way so I feel like you definitely have history with whoever this is because if it was someone new I don't feel like there would be this this strong of an attachment so it's either one of your exes is heavily thinking of you and pining over you cancer or this is how you're feeling about someone from your past potentially baby mama baby daddy but um, I feel like you have history with this person and if you didn't date them then you just you've known them for a long time maybe you've been friends for a long time there's history here in some capacity and that may mean something different to each and every one of you so we have abundance, uh, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. This is, yeah, this is you trying to manifest what you want. I feel like you were trying to manifest clarity as well without speaking to the person because it's almost like I don't want to spill my guts to you, but I feel like whoever has been, you know, think whether it was you or the other person, whoever's been thinking about, um, you know, connecting and, you know, pining over the other one they're putting a lot of their happiness on that other person which you know that can be a, a negative thing to do because nobody truly makes us happy they can add to our happiness and bring value to our life but they don't like complete us kind of thing and I feel like somebody was viewing this connection in that way um, and I kind of feel like either you or them found out that you know that they were how strongly they were feeling or how strongly you are feeling. It's like you're the only one for me is what is what I keep hearing. So I'm not sure if there was a letter that was written where you just spilled your guts to this person, whether they're old or new to you, um, or if they did this to you. But I almost feel like even though the truth came out about how this person feels or how you feel, nothing was really done about it. There was no action taken. Um... I kind of feel like someone sat on these feelings for a while, if I'm going to be honest. So, past feelings, we have retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. So, I do feel like whoever was pining over the other one, whether it was you or your person, um, I feel like that person felt the need to pull back to kind of pull themselves out of not only the dating scene, but just... I feel like the hermit energy here, you know, just kind of going into isolation so that I can think and process through my emotions. Um, I feel like this person just loves being alone with you, Cancer, or you love being alone with them. It's like, you're the only person I can truly be me around is what I feel. So I just feel like this per whoever... Yeah, I can only, I can be me around you. I feel like this person hides themselves, hides away from the world a lot, but they definitely want to have alone time with you 
And it's like, you're the only one for me. I just keep going back to that. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, Jesus. Well, the Ace of Pentacles, I could have made an offer to you. But this is the Ace of Chalices, the Ace of Cups. Because um, they love you. You're the only one for me. I will pull, like... I'll take myself off the market, even though you haven't, you know, accepted my offer, or even though I haven't said anything to you kind of thing. I just know that we're meant to be together. I, I don't want anybody else, and I really hope that you want the same thing, because I'm not putting myself out there for anyone else but you. Um, I feel like this person, whoever, it's okay to have that much love for somebody, but I kind of feel that obsessive energy, like I was saying before. So I feel like this person needs some alone time to go within and really process their own emotions and you know why do they feel this strongly like um i feel like they have some underlying issues within themselves from their past that they need to work through like um because i don't feel like they fully respect themselves or love themselves um i feel like they put a lot of that on you like like, I can show you the world. I, I'll always have your back. Like, all the things that they should be telling themselves, they they will offer to you and they will show you and prove to you. But I feel like this person definitely lacks a little bit of self-love, whether it's you or them. But, yeah, they definitely want to get you alone. They love you. And, I, I mean, this is... If you guys spend a few hours together, whether you're walking outside, like a nature walk or a hike, because I... I I feel like you guys like to walk, whether it's in the woods, on, you know, on a specific trail, or, you know, just on the road, or whatever. Hell, it could be on the treadmill, side by side at a gym, but I feel like it's outside. Um, I feel like you guys like to walk and talk, and just kind of, that's your escape from the world, and you feel comfortable doing that with this person. Like, you guys have very similar interests, and so you could be dealing with another water sign. I just heard air as well. I feel like you guys enjoy the same activities as well. And it's like your their love for you or your love for them deepens every time you have these like intimate moments. And I'm not talking about sex. It's like they just don't want the moment to end. They don't want the time they're sharing with you to end or vice versa. I feel like I'll never love again. That's seriously, this person is madly deeply in love with you or you're, that's how you feel about them. Yeah, then we have I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. I feel like they're trying not to come on as strong. Um, they don't want you. I feel like you know that they love you because you have some clarity here. And you found this out in the recent past. But you just don't know how strong, how strong it is to them. Like how much they love you. Um... And how bad they like yearn for these moments that you guys have together. And I feel like um, they're far and few between. Because I almost feel like you had like you'd hang out back to back, and then there'd be like lulls or spans of time where you'd kind of take a step back, or they would, and then you'd kind of come back together. It was almost like I don't want them to get the wrong idea, so I'm gonna back off, and then I'll come back in. Like I kind of feel the hot and coldness. Um, but the feelings never went away for on this for, bleh, on this person's side. I feel like they stumble over their words. They don't know what to say to you, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, because they don't want to fuck it up. They're they're very afraid of losing you, Cancer, or vice versa. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, they definitely. They're hiding the fact that you are the only one they want. I feel like you know that they like you. Um, I'm keeping the mask card here. Addiction was under that, just so you know. So, yeah, this person's definitely addicted to you, I'm just going to say, or vice versa. But I feel like it. it's known, you know, or they know, wherever you uh, fall on that, and, like, friends, mutual friends or otherwise, know that this person or you have feelings for that this person has feelings for you, basically. I can't go back and forth. I'm going to confuse myself. Um, but they're hiding the fact... They're hiding how intense those feelings are, if that makes sense. So, like, how bad they want you is what's being hidden. Like, I almost feel like this person or you has the future planned out. Like, you know, I want to get married or remarried or, you know, like, this is what my I want my life to look like. I want to buy a house, but I only want to buy it with you. Like, 
can I have your input? Like, I feel I want to build and grow, but I only want to do it with this specific person. So either they only want you or you only want them. Um, but I feel like there's some hesitancy on someone's side. So if you're the one that is planning the future and wanting this with your person, they're a little hesitant. Like, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I want to date. I don't know if you're the one or that could be coming from you, Cancer. So past expectations, the chariot, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. To me, the, t the blah, blah, blah. To me, the chariot is forward movement. It wanted to come out reverse, but I don't like reading this deck in, in, in reverse, but I do take it into consideration. Um, I feel like there hasn't been forward movement up until this point. So in the recent past, there was no progression in this connection. But the expectation was that if I tell cancer how I feel, we'll move forward. Or if I tell so-and-so how I feel, you know, they'll accept me and we'll, we'll be able to move forward together kind of thing. So I feel like that was the expectation. Um, I also feel for those of you who have an ex, you were expecting them to return or they were expecting you to return because we have the eight of cups reverse so this is like not wanting to move on with anybody else just you and me baby that's the expectation that i'll get what i want that so and so will come back to me no matter how far away they go they'll always return <coughs> excuse me can i get more on this expectation please I just, I feel a lot of waiting energy here with this past section. It's like, I don't feel like I'm waiting in vain though, because I just know that so-and-so is going to come back to me kind of thing. We have not today. And then with mirror. So you guys definitely uh, mirror each other with your, with your actions. I feel, I feel with your feelings too, to an extent, but one of you is definitely more or deeper into this than the other one. We have date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. And with this, for some reason, I feel like whoever has those really strong feelings, whether it's you or your or the other person, like I said, it could be an ex or somebody new, because um, I kind of feel both scenarios. Um, I feel like the other person whose feelings aren't as strong or the one who's exploring, you know, how they feel, I feel like they were outdating other people exploring their options or at least looking into them I don't feel like it was like I don't feel like this person has a dating profile or anything like that it wasn't like a serious dater you know they don't have any apps and shit I just feel like they you know were hanging out with other people just kind of testing the waters and seeing what else is out there um and I feel like you've considered it but you you won't do it so whoever has those intense feelings it's like no I don't even care what else is out there kind of thing I just want to plan a date with you and I feel like whoever has those strong feelings whether it's you or the other person um there's planning dates I feel like if I set up this date if I if we go on this adventure, if we go do this or that and, and ex have these fun experiences, I feel like cancer will come back to me or my ex or this person will come will come back to me kind of thing. Like they'll want to date me after this experience. I'm going to show them that I've grown, I've changed, that I know how to have fun, that this is what our relationship would look like. I'm not, um, then we have wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. For some of you, you were married to this person. This is your ex-husband, ex-wife, or baby mama, baby daddy type thing. You had a high-level commitment with them, and you want that back, or they want that back with you. But I feel like it's kind of one-sided. Um, I don't feel like the other person doesn't love you. I just feel like your emotions definitely aren't matched, if that's the case. Um they might have some reservations because of what, you know, whatever happened previously in the connection between the two of you is what I'm feeling or you do. Um, but I feel like this is ultimately what the expectation is in the recent past. Whoever had these, un, you know, uncontrollable feelings, I'm just going to say, like, um, they were expecting the two of you, you know, to sweep you off your feet, basically, for you guys to level up. 
to move forward and to live happily ever after. I feel like a fantasy in the recent past. Like someone was definitely thinking along those lines. So overall energy currently is the garden in the gate with the six of wands. So to me, with this card, the garden and the gate, it you know, the gate is gar ah, bleh, 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 bleh. the gate is garden. What the hell was I trying to say? Jeez. <laughs> the garden inside this gated area is beautiful. You know, it's nice. It can be complacency and to me that's what it reminds me of. It's kinda like, yeah, this is nice, but I feel like there's more out here. So this is needing to open up the gate and explore your options or just you know, see what else is out there, um, just to make sure that this is exactly what you want. And I feel like that is what one of you is doing. So whoever, you know, isn't madly deeply in love, the other one, whether it's you or the per you're, the person you're connecting to, that person, this is why they're hesitant. Their overall energy currently is like, okay, we haven't moved forward yet because I, I feel like I need to um, see what else is out there. I need to explore the world a little bit and even explore myself. Um, I feel like somebody does want attention and I feel like this attention card is going to go two ways. Like I want to be successful in love and I feel like I know that cancer, you and I could be successful is what I feel like this person is thinking like, yes, we could, we could make it, you know, we got all the tools we need. Um, we work well together, blah, blah, blah. But what if, you know, I just stay stuck in this garden and my true, the true one for me is still out there kind of thing. So there's someone who's still questioning things and they want attention from other people. And that could have been a problem if you were, if this is an ex of yours, Cancer, that could have been a problem within the relationship previously is that this person is a bit of an attention whore and, you know, there could have been infidelity and stuff like that going on because they do want attention and um, you might not have been giving them enough attention in the past or vice versa. So it's like somebody thinking about that. Like, you know, if I give you my undivided attention, are you going to seek it elsewhere? You know, like if I... If I'm on a business trip or if I back off because I'm having a bad day, are you going to go pursue other options just because I'm not, you know, complimenting you 25,000 times a day kind of thing? So I feel some internal questions like that. Um, but this is basically exploring and, want, and wanting to make sure that you guys will be successful this time around. And it's questioning that. Because I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, either you or them, um they do they're kind of flirty i'm just going to put it that way they do like attention from the opposite sex or same sex it all depends um it makes them feel good because i did say that i felt like somebody lacks self-love and that kind of goes hand in hand with that so that would make perfect sense as to why they would need those um, positive affirmations or um uh, what is that called yeah i think that's what it is or someone just tells you that you're fucking wonderful. I saw soulmates, soul connect, uh, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So I do feel like one of you feels that this is your soulmate and this is like the end all be all while the other one is still questioning it. So it's pretty much what I was saying. So the overall energy is, you know, should I, should I just keep, uh, should I stay put and just see what happens and see if this is better than the last time because it really ain't that bad kind of thing? Or should I see if there's more to life than this? So someone's on the fence, like literally. Are you my soulmate or are you not? And that's the current energy. I feel like that's what that is. Healthy choices, yeah, they want with the snake. So there has been some past issues between you and this person or just in your love life in general. Making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Like I said, this person, you know, they need to know that they're good without attention and I feel like that could have been a problem in the relationship between the two of you in the past if this is your ex. If it's not, then that was a problem in their past relationship with whoever else. Um, they needed the the constant reassurance basically that you know they look good that they're doing good that that you love them you know that type of stuff um <laughs> and that can be pretty draining 
So current feelings we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel like your person or you, whoever, you know, um, is pining over the other one is, They're trying to learn from the past, and I feel like they're they're trying to forgive themselves for any transgressions that they did. So if this is your ex, um, if they did something wrong, like if they cheated or if they got attention elsewhere, whatever, um, whatever happened between the two of you, I feel like they want to right their wrongs. It's like I've learned from from the past, you know, just give me a little bit of time because I, I want to make sure that I feel like, the other person is saying, just give me a little bit of time. I just want to make sure that you're not going to repeat history, you know, that I'm not going to go through the same karmic bullshit that we did before. Um, I just, this is just somebody, please forgive me. You know, I want to move forward with you. And I say that because we have the ace of wands. So this is, please forgive me. Can we move past the past and just full steam ahead between just the two of us? Like, I love you. I have a lot of passion for you. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So there is a lot of love here, whether it's on your side or their side. I, and I feel like you both do love each other. It's just one of you, it's more intense. Um, one of you just knows you're 110% certain, and the other one is kind of questioning it still, but the feelings are there. It's like they're not fully ready to cut the cords yet. Even if they were to move on, I feel like this person would still be in your life or they would try to be, even if it was difficult for you. But this is, please forgive me, can we move forward? Like, I miss you. I, I miss what we have or what we had. Um, I want a whole brand new beginning clean slate. And this is also working on themselves. Like, I'm trying... I'm trying to figure out who I am, why I did what I did in the past, especially if this is coming from whoever, you know, did cheat or cause problems in their past relationship, whether that was with you or with somebody else. I feel like this is, I need to collect my bearings and, you know, figure out why I even did what I did. And if, you know, make sure I'm not going to do that shit again, because, um, I get bored easy kind of thing, like where I did in the past. So there are some apologies but yet excuses at the same time so some of you could have been dealing with somebody with a very high libido where they you know literally wanted attention and that kind of attention from anyone and everyone um i feel like they if that was the case this person they um how do i don't, the fuck's the word I'm looking for? They didn't think before they they acted. Basically, they they're very reckless. Just fly by the seat of their pants, and that's what caused some problems. Yeah, that's what caused the separation. Definitely, um, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of the future. I feel like you both are unsure of the future. You're unsure if they're gonna, you know, take you back or vice versa, um, or you know, date you at all, and. I feel like the other scenario here is this is being unsure if you can move past what has happened in the past, whether it happened between the two of you or it just happened, you know, in your past with somebody else. Um, I do feel like for some of you, a very small percentage, this person is going to either you or this person is going to cut the ties between the two of you. And it's like, no, you know, I forgive you for what had happened. But I can't move forward with this. I'm just going to, you know, find someone new and you should too kind of thing. If that's the case, whoever is madly in love, whether it's you or them, they that person is going to be extremely devastated if you fall into that category. I feel like they're going to handle it with tact, but it is it is making you miss somebody. And if that's the case, it's already happened. They've already, you know, rejected you. Um, I don't, cause this is current. I don't feel like that's coming up. I feel like if that's your story, it's already happened. If it's not your story, then I feel like this person is just yearning for you because you guys are not in union and that's what you want. And I feel like that they're coming around to that notion because they don't want to lose you either, which is why what comes around, it's almost like they're catching up to seeing things the same way you are with karmic relationship. So for those of you, when I mentioned um, 
that they rejected you already, if that's already happened, it was a karmic situation. For some of you, it is, even if you do decide to, you know, go round and round with them again. But I feel like the main reason this came out is because there is a karmic involved. So the person who's hesitant, whether it's you or them, there's somebody else in their environment. And that is a karmic situation. I almost feel like they need to experience something within a different connection in order for the two of you to fully come together, if you're meant to come together. Because it's like some of you will and some of you won't. Um, but I do feel like there is a karmic situation. And that person who's hesitant might be kind of like toying with the idea between you and this other person. Like, hmm. Who's the better fit for me? I don't want to make the wrong choice. But I kind of feel like they might make the wrong choice. Um, <clears throat> which will send you both into different directions, at least for the time being, um, if they end up choosing the, the outside person. Because I feel like this person still thrives off attention. Expe current expectations, we have the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment, so figuring shit out. I feel like it's closing this cycle. And then we have the Four of Cups, which is being bored, wanting to spice things up. I feel like um, one of you, whoever has been pining over the other one who has those strong feelings is getting bored of the situation. Like, there has been no fucking progress yet. And that kind of, that might be where part of the separation is coming in. Like, you know, I, I think I need to take a different approach. We need to end the current cycle that's going on or end a karmic situation, you know, if they're dealing with somebody or if you are, um, so that we can move forward because I'm sick of these fuck buck games. I'm sick of the um, uncertainties, the back and forth. Um, I'm fucking bored. I want to move forward. I want to change what's currently going on between us. I need to know, are we going to be together or are we not? Like, because I'm not going to keep running back and forth. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who is legit married or in a connection and you have feelings for them. They're, you know, you're waiting for them to separate from this karmic person and they're only seeing you you know, here and there because they're living with this person or, you know, whether they're just living with their ex or someone um, of the opposite sex or whatever, or if it is a love interest or someone that they're dating, that a karmic relationship that needs to go bye bye I feel like you're, you've been waiting for a cycle like this to end so that you two can be together and you're sick of the whole, like, I can only see you at night, we, we got to sneak around or, you know, I only get bits and pieces of you no so I feel like someone in this situation had the expectation that this would be temporary um, but I feel like that situation has been going on longer than planned it's like okay well you still haven't walked away from this person where's our new beginning and the other person could be you know wanting to apologize with forgiving and learning like sorry i you know i've got things that i gotta clear up it's not as easy as it seems whatever blah 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 whatever excuse there is but i did see excuses here and i kind of feel that with this and someone's getting fed up of only having you know a piece of you it's like no i want your whole heart that's it, not fair to me so this situation is not fair i feel like it needs to end and someone thought it was going to end by now, but it hasn't. So it's almost like putting it at the forefront. Like, okay, well, it you know seems it hasn't stopped. I guess I have to pull away. And that might be very difficult for somebody. Can I get more on this Four of Cups with the world, please? It's like I, I just heard I thought you were different. Yeah, somebody's staying for their stability. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So I feel like somebody is either still partnered with somebody or living with somebody because for financial reasons. So there's like a codependent situation going on either on your side or your person's side. And that is why you're only getting, you know, bits and pieces of this and why they haven't ended their current situation and moved forward with you is because I feel like it has to do with money. Um, 
it's like I thought this would have been over by now. I thought we could have moved forward because, you know, you don't need that person's money. I can help you if you really need it kind of thing. Like, I love you. What the fuck? Um, yeah, so I feel like there's a little bit of tension going on currently, like fed up energy. So overall energy coming up in the near future within a month's time. We have action and the six of swords reversed. The Six of Swords in the upright is all about moving to calmer water, getting out of the chaos. It's moving on. Um, in the reverse, this is not moving on. It's sitting in the drama, basically. So I feel like the overall action is to sit and wait. It's like, no, I'm returning, which we have the Eight of Cups reversed here, which is all about returning. Like, I feel like someone's action is to wait for so-and-so to return for their person to come back. Um, it's almost like, okay, I believe you. I trust what you're saying, no matter what it is. It stresses me out, and I'm, I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of this cycle, this hot and cold crap, but I can't let you go. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're physically moving forward or acting as though you are. Like, that's your action. Like, I'm out. I can't do this. But mentally and emotionally, you're still tied to that person to the situation like okay I'm gonna act like I'm done to maybe light a fire under their ass and um but I'm still hanging on like they just don't need to know kind of thing so I almost feel like that might send the other person packing in their current situation and head your way or vice versa so it is a little bit of um manipulation it's somebody pulling back or acting like they are so that it scares the other person into making a decision. Can I get more on this, please? What are we acting on? Please spot it. What are we acting on? I feel like I said what I what I needed to say. One, two. Oh, there it is. Love. Yeah, I haven't moved on because you guys are in love. This person is like so. Whether it's you or the other person, someone is pretending like they they've moved on, but emotionally they haven't. They're still they're still clung to you. Unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So I feel like their main action or yours is when you're pretending to move forward to let go of this. It's because you're working on yourself. You're doing whatever you need to do independent, independently of this person. Um, so it's almost like killing two birds with one stone. If you kind of think about it, you're, you're basically doing the work that you need to do, trying to process through this, that, and the other. Um, but you're still hanging on, hoping that once, you're, once you work through any karmic bullshit um, in your life, anything that you need to heal from, you know, past baggage, whatever, that they'll come running back. So you're very hopeful. Yeah. And then we have engagement ring. So, um, whoever's doing this is still extremely hopeful that the connection will come back together or together at all. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, no shit. That's also my twin, twin flame card in the romance angels deck. Um, or divine counterpart, whatever you want to say. And then we have the king of chalices reverse. So this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I did say earlier I thought that, or I felt that um, some of you are dealing with another water sign, either another Cancer or it could be a Scorpio or Pisces. But I feel like this is opening up emotionally. Somebody wants to express themselves. And I feel like it's both of you. I feel like whoever has those strong feelings who's still hanging on, um... I feel like you've already semi-expressed yourself, but not to the full extent. But I feel like the other person, like, there's been a fire lit under their ass and they do want to tell you just how much, how, like, how they feel. Um, I, I still don't feel like your feelings are matched, though. But I do see an expression of love um, and passion. Somebody definitely wants to share their emotions with you, like, share how they feel. And I feel like this will this will feel sudden. Like, it's funny, because it's been, like, a long time coming. Like, this is what you've been waiting for, what they've been waiting for from you. And when it happens, it's going to, like, take them aback. Like, what? Oh, my God, really? 
Yeah, we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, freedom from this karmic situation if they're partnered or married to somebody that the separation is on the table 100% with that. Um, but I feel like this is healing from the past. While you're in this healing process, this person wants to come in and express themselves or you want to. Um <clears throat> Yeah, this is healing from past attachments. They have a lot of passion for you. And then we have the runner. So I almost feel like this is the runner. Whoever you've been chasing or has been chasing, whoever the runner is, basically, is the one who has been hesitant, who hasn't really expressed themselves. And I feel like they're going to. They just needed to end a current situation, something that was very outdated, um, a cycle that they just kept going over and over and over again with. Um, they were like the hamster on the fucking karmic wheel. But they... I feel like with you pulling away, even though you're not really gone, you're acting like you are, it's making them want to chase you. It's making them want to come back like, fuck, I thought, I thought cancer would always be there. Or I thought so-and-so would always be there. Um, this is where the tables turn, coming up here within the next month. So, yeah, I feel like the, their feelings are definitely growing. Or or yours. Future expectations. Three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others with the five of chalices, which is the five of cups. This is all about, you know, heartbreak, sadness, um, depression, mourning a loss, you know, missing the past. And I feel like with this heartbreak and pain... Whoever needs to end this karmic situation, it wasn't easy, so they are hurting, which is why Healing Heart is here in the future emotions. I do feel like they, they're they going to... The roles are going to switch. They're going to reverse where if you were chasing them, they're now going to chase you or vice versa um, because they're going to realize just how much you did for them, how much you mean to them, how much they actually miss you. Because I feel like you've been in this person's life pretty consistently. Like there really hasn't been too many gaps. So they never really got a chance to miss you, to yearn for you, to, to wonder what it would be like to not have you because you're just always there or they're always there, whichever side of the coin you're on with that. So I feel like with, with you walking away physically as a I don't know, as a, a tactic, a scare tactic, um, it, it worked because I feel like this person is going to be terrified. It's like, oh my God, I thought you'd never leave. Like I totally, um, took advantage of the situation. I, what is that called? I totally, I just thought you would always be there. Took you for granted. There we go. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Well, if you start entertaining other options, or they do, or whatever, um, whoever's walking away, I feel like um, they're def the other person's definitely going to be envious of 110%. Um, but I don't feel like they'll show it. I feel like this is mainly frustration. Like, I thought you would always be there. Like, now, I, now I'm sad that you're gone kind of thing. And I feel like this person does have pride and ego issues, whoever they are. And it's like, I just, I can't deal with this right now. You know, I got a lot going on that I'm trying to deal with from my own past. You know, I'm trying to end things that don't, that don't serve me, that don't work for me. And yeah, I love you, but you know, is this, is this a trap or is it not? Like, is it real? I feel like just because they're they're hurting or you're hurting, it's confusing. Like I don't know I don't know if this is meant to be or not, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um but that's what I have for you over here. So on Patreon, we're going to cover obstacles and blocks, actions, potential outcome, as well as some advice and whatever else I feel the need to pull. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have to pick up on your energy. Also, hit me up for a personal. I do have openings. My email is in the box below. Willow Vines with an S, 1631 at gmail.com. Um, I also uploaded merch. It's not like below the video or anything because I can't figure out why the hell it's not doing it. But anyways, um, I've been having problems with that. So... I want to do a color line with it, and I know that I posted a contest, and I'm going to change the dates around because um, things have not been working out accordingly just yet. Um, I'm going to delete the listing that I made, 
and I'm going to um, start over because I want the designs a specific way and I want colors because not everybody wears white. I mean, I love the sweatshirt, the way it looks, but not everybody wears white, not everybody can wear white, and a lot of guys especially do not want to wear a girly looking sweatshirt or shirt, whatever. Um, I do have some other designs, so I'm going to try to incorporate multiple things to appease everybody um, so that you can, you know, Willow Vibe, be part of the Willow Vibe tribe. Um, in style, you know, and in, in something that makes you comfortable. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be messing around with that today. I do have a couple personals to do, but I do have openings, like I said, but I will see you over on Patreon, my lovely lovelies. And, um, if you haven't joined me over there, head on over, check it out at least one time. It's, um, you can cancel at any time. You can sign up for any denomination. You can lower it, increase it at any time. You, it, there's no obligation to you whatsoever, but yeah. I'll see you over there. Love you.